What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome to some ghost gameplay. This is my first proper ghost gameplay. You guys saw my fucking montage, my knife montage, that's what's up. Um, and that was sick and sexy and everyone loved it. And um, I want to talk about like kind of my first impressions of ghosts and how I'm enjoying the game and uh, why there hasn't been as much ghost content up on my channel as possible. But first of all about the game, we're on some map, I'm using some gun and I'm playing with some people. Um, I don't know the names of the maps, the guns, and I think I'm playing with, I've actually got four subscribers and A and I skills in the game. No, sorry, I've got A and I skills, Beitsun and Calfreezy in the game and two subscribers. And that's uh, something I'm going to be doing a lot guys is anytime I want to play Black Ops, I'm going to be inviting you guys from Twitter. So if you're not following my Twitter, get on there, twitter.com slash Nepenthes. Uh, I'll just be like, hey guys, you want to play? Send me a message. I'll invite random people at random times uh, to try and get all of you involved in the games. Um, I actually quite like this map. This is the map I played the most and this is probably the map I enjoy the most. Um, what I find difficult at the moment about CODs is learning the maps. They're so big, some of them, uh, that I find it remarkably tough to remember all the ins and outs of them. It's going to take me probably around another sort of uh, I'd say another like five hours gameplay before I'm like you know real comfortable in them. But you can see in this map, I, like, I know the points where people run out. At, uh, you know, I know the spawn points in this map, um, and I'm very aware of what's going on in this map, which uh, makes me very happy. Um, my first impressions of COD Ghost is not good. Um, I was so so excited to get back from New York City to play Ghost to actually have a have a bit of fun on this game. And in general, I'm actually relatively good at COD games, considering how how much I play them. Um, I'm not the best for sure, but I would if I went into a free fall lobby on Black Ops, Black Ops 2, anything like that. I reckon I'd win three out of five, maybe four out of five games, and I think that's pretty okay. In this game, in Ghosts, I am fucking terrible. I'm like I'm that bad and worse, and it's. It's just crazy how bad at this game I am, and I'm really disappointed in myself. But a lot of it is due to the fact that I just spawns are tough for me, man. Like sometimes I spawn and I've got some guy fucking standing in my face, ready to knife me. And like I don't know, sometimes uh, that was bad for me. Sometimes, uh, you know, I'll spawn, I'll literally I'll start running away from the spawn point, and I'll just get shot in the back instantly. And the amount of times I shoot someone, and then there's someone instantly behind me shooting me in the back is is quite crazy. There's a lot of camping in the big maps, people using snipers and the assault rifles, um, which is is a bit frustrating. There's a map that reminds me of uh, one of the COD4 maps actually, where it's like. I wish I could have the name of the COD4 map. Uh, I, I fucking can't remember it and it's annoying me. But it's basically like one kind of big long uh, alleyway down the middle with buildings to the right and left. And it's like a Z shape. And there's one on this that's like that as well. And um, in that one, people just sit in the buildings at the backs and just snipe. And it's like, what's the fucking point? Like, seriously, like, I understand you want to get good scores and stuff. But it must be so boring waiting for like 30 to 45 seconds just to see someone. And then hope you got to kill them. So the camping for me is a bit annoying. Uh, the spawn points are a bit annoying. Um, the rest of it, though, I don't mind. I'm actually enjoying this. I'm playing Kill Confirmed a lot more than anything. Uh, I played a few free throws, a bit of Cranked. I uh, played some Search and Rescue. I'm not a fan of that, even though Search and Destroy was one of my favorite game modes. I'm, I'm not a fan of uh, Search and Rescue. Um, and I played a bit of Team Deathmatch, some Domination. But uh, of all the... Um, that was my bad again, man. Sprinting too much there. Of all the game modes, I probably prefer Kill Confirmed or TDM the most. Um... And, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I am having fun. Like, it's going to take me a while. I'm going to hopefully be able to put up gameplays. Um, oh, I actually managed to get him. Hopefully be able to put up gameplays every day. But also on this channel, I'm going to be putting up some LOL gameplay, and that will come up every day, at least one game a day, if not two or three, if I have the time uh, to render them out. Um, but, yeah, so this is my first COD gameplay. At the moment, I'm 13-3. and three. I actually I think I've got the Honey Badger. Um, if not, I've got the... No, I don't even know what I've got if I haven't got the Honey Badger. But I do use the Throwing Knife and the Flashbang, or Concussion, I think it's called this time around. Um, I have four perks. I don't have a secondary, and I prefer the perks because I've got the perk. I think I've got Dead Silence. Um, I've got the perk where they, I can't be seen by the the uh, the SATCOMs. What are they called? Yeah, SATCOM. Um, which is, by the way, the SATCOM, how fucking annoying is that? Who needs a... A UAV style piece of equipment where you have to press two buttons to get it out like I just want to be able to press one button and have it ready and, and there you know like it's quite annoying that um, 
that was really bad by me and then really bad by him and then me managing to get the kill but so uh, that all round was just generally pretty terrible play um but yeah so who who you know who needs that wow that was really bad for me again i should have killed him much easier one thing that i found guys i actually started the game off on three sensitivity i do believe and i moved it up to four quite quickly um i've never really used like the higher sensitivity i've always had it around like five or six um but for the and I was doing really bad but literally this was the first game that I played and I changed my sensitivity up to 7 and since I changed it up to 7 I've gone positive on all but one games out of about 10 games like I've, I've been getting scores of like 25 and 15 and not crazy good scores like I need to reduce the amount of deaths I get but they've been okay scores you know they've not been so bad so that is kind of my first impressions of CODs I can't wait for the next gen to come out so that we get 9v9 on these maps because I think that it's much needed the 9v9 like these games are so short, uh, sorry, so so small, like the maps are so big, not this map specifically, but in general the maps are quite big and the um, the the there's only six players, so with nine players on each team it obviously make it a lot easier, missed that throwing knife there but someone saved my life and we end up winning the game 65-23, to 23. I went 19-4 and picked up 11 tags, a uh, couple of subscribers up the top there then Calfreezy 8-5, uh, Bates and 12 and 4 and A and I skills 3 and 7 holding up the team there with no tags this has been the end of the episode though guys so if you've enjoyed this be sure to leave a like rating comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and as always guys thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time peace